You're listening to Her Confidence Her Way Podcast, episode 71. Hey ladies, welcome back to the end of the episode of Her Confidence Her Way Podcast. I am your host, Emiko Rasmussen. I am super excited to be here because I know that there are ladies out there who are waiting for this episode. I love receiving those messages. So, thank you so much. I cannot do this without you guys. And I am not doing this just for me, I am doing this for you so that way you can really find your purpose to,、uh, and you can live the meaningful life and do what you really want to do with confidence. So, With that said, I really want to say thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this episode. And for those who are listening to this episode the very first time, welcome! I am super happy that you found this episode. Let me know how you find this episode, okay? I want to know. <laughs> okay, today's episode is an interview episode. So I know some of you have let me know that you are missing the interview. Version of her confidence her way. So, yes, I heard you, I hear you, and I want to make sure that I am bringing some amazing guests. So, I have a wonderful guest for you. But before that, I wanted to talk about this amazing event that my wonderful friend Helen is hosting. Nichijou kara hanarete refresh. Jibun no tsuyomi o mitsume naoshi. Ashita ni tsunagaru ritorito. Sasuga yu self discovery weekend. It is happening from November the 10th through the 12th in Iwaki Yumoro. Learning, connecting with like minded people, and relaxation with yoga and hot springs. How does that sound? If you want to learn more about this event, please go to www.sasugacommunications.com or you can go to my website and look at the show note where you can get all the information that you need. About this retreat. And I know some of the ladies who are listening to this podcast, you may not have heard this term retreat, ritorito. So you might be wondering, what is retreat?、Um, then I have an answer for you. My wonderful friend, May, she has her wonderful podcast. It is called Jibun Rashiku Yume o Kanaeru Nagio. And her episode, in her episode 34, she talked about retreat. It is called What is Retreat? So, wonderful, amazing May as podcast is my answer to you. So, go ahead and check out her episode as well. You can go to, if you have an iTunes, and definitely you can subscribe to her podcast, or you can go to、um, www.maynakamura.com. And、um, you can find her episode 34 from there. Before we move on to the main topic, let's hear a quick word from sponsors. This episode is brought to you by you, the listeners. This podcast is Her Confidence Her Way の listener さんのサポートから成り立っています。もしもこのエピソードがとっても役に立ち、もっと聞きたいと思った方は、ぜひこのポッドキャストをスポンサーしてください。私のウェブサイト www.herconfidenceherway.com のメニューからポッドキャストをサポートするをクリックより良いエピソードをお届けするためにもリスナーさんからの寄付をお待ちしています This episode is also brought to you by AudibleAudible Audible とはアプリで本を聞くという新しいライフスタイルです Audible で通勤時間をスキルアップの時間に英語でコミュニケーションを取るためのリスニング力アップの方法に自分に興味のある本を忙しいスケジュールの中家事をしながらエクササイズをしながら英語で聞くこともできます今オリボーでは30日間無料体験のスペシャルオファーを私のウェブサイトにある Try Audible Free のボタンから無料で登録ができます What are you waiting for? It's free and you should definitely try it また、私のウェブサイト www.herconfidenceherway.com からエピソードでお話しした内容、アドバイス、またはエピソードで出てきたリンク、他のサイトもそちらで紹介しています。最後に、Let's connect with me on Instagram. 
。ぜひ、私のインスタから、私のプライベートの生活などの写真もチェックしてくださいね。DM、ディレクトメッセージからいただいたメッセージは必ずお返しします。私のアカウントは、at emiko rasmussen、at emiko rasmussen。Alright, don't forget to subscribe to this podcast. このポッドキャストの購読もお忘れずに。Now, let's get back to the show.Alright, are you excited to hear from today's guest?Let me introduce our amazing guest today.Her name is Ayaka Kawamoto.She is an online English teacher who is not what you think who she is. <laughs> Ayaka's speciality is teaching and fostering Japanese to become a local tour guide. She is a founder of Omote Nashi Ego, who teaches her students how to become a travel guide. In her course, she not only teaches her students how to become a travel guide, she also teaches her students useful English phrases to guide their local town. And also, she helps her students on how to organize their own tours and help them practice before they actually guide their foreign tourists in Japan. Ayaka currently lives in Hiroshima and she is also a travel guide specialized in Hiroshima. The reason why I wanted to bring Ayaka onto this podcast is that. A, number one, I wanted to introduce you to this amazing woman who started her own business, the business plan, from the scratch and turned her passion into a profitable business. She is one of my students from the online business start course as well. She started at the end of May 2018, and in three months, she not only has a business, but also she has a paying student as well. How amazing is that, right? And of course, the second reason, I have so many reasons why I wanted to bring Ayaka to my show. The second reason why is that I wanted to have a conversation with her, and because she is one of, one of the p e r s o n who did not know what her gifted talent is, or gifted talent was, nor her passion. By using the worksheet, which you can download it for free if you go to my website and sign up for my newsletter, you can get that worksheet as well. Finding your gifted talent worksheet. And she was able to discover her strengths and be able to really be her true self. During our conversation, you will hear her strong passion of why she wanted to teach other Japanese people to be a local travel guide through Omote Nashi Ego. Here's my conversation with Ayaka. Enjoy! Hi, Ayaka san, how are you doing? Welcome to Her Confidence Her Way podcast. Hi, Emiko san.、Uh, I'm good, thank you. And thank you for having me today.、Uh, I have been a very big fan of your podcast. I really like your、um, episode and the concept of this podcast because you always、um, say、uh, in the beginning of this podcast,、uh, like you don't have to worry about yourself. You are not you know, good enough or you are、mm -hmm. not strong enough, but、mm -hmm. uh, you can just be yourself. I really like this concept. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, you think that, you know, I got this, but I'm also <laughs> telling this to myself too because、uh, I, I struggle myself, you know, as maybe, you know, many of the listeners are struggling, you know, having doubting、mm -hmm. yourself and you think that、mm -hmm. you're not good enough. So, I'm still, you know, in this、mm. journey with you and other listeners. So, yeah, we、mm. can work this together and we can be better. So,、mm -hmm. I'm so excited to have you. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> I, I cannot believe that I'm actually talking to you because、oh、I always、uh, listen to your podcast in the car or、mm -hmm. in, in my room.、Yeah. But I'm really,、uh, I can't believe that. <laughs> I'm actually like literally talking to you in person on the Skype here.、Oh、But、God. I'm really happy. Yeah, well, that, that means so much to me. Thank you. And you're so kind. <laughs> Thank you no, so much. No, you are so kind. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> yeah, lots of love, lots of love. All right, well, <laughs> let's get started. So, okay, Ayaka-san,、yes. um, mm-hmm. I want to know.、Um, mm-hmm. So, currently, you're in Japan, right?、Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, so where did you grow, grow up? And if you can、mm-hmm. share with us, like, what were you like as、mm-hmm. you were growing up? And、mm-hmm. maybe, you know, lead up to currently, like, you know, what you're up to.、Mm-hmm. So tell us about your little story about who you are,、mm-hmm. you know, as a little girl and up to mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. Okay.、Um, I live in Japan and then I live in Hiroshima、mm-hmm. at this moment.、Um, Hiroshima、uh, has a lot of areas, but I'm not,、uh, I'm not from the center of Hiroshima. I live in a quite Uh, rural area in Hiroshima.、Mm-hmm. So、um, I, was, I have been surrounded by a lot of mountains and rice fields.、Mm-hmm. So I kept eating vegetable and rice grown up,、uh, grown by my parents, my、oh. grandfather, in their rice fields or in their vegetable fields. <laughs> wow. So, so I'm quite、uh, easy going. Mm-hmm. And I like to go out, I like to talk to new people.、Mm-hmm. So then I,、uh, I was very into volleyball、mm-hmm. uh, when I was an、uh, elementary and、uh, junior and high school student. But、uh, the, like, as you know, the like, Japanese culture for the Uh, club activities, like、mm-hmm. it was really like taiku kaike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the, so the, the discipline、mm. was really, really tough to me. So, everyone has to, had to like behave like same. Yeah. So, there's no、uh, personal individuals. So, we always、uh, had to practice just volleyball like all day without any holiday.、Mm. So, it, It was really tough to me, so that's why、um, I really、um, became interested in English. Because if you can speak English very well,、uh, you can、uh, learn a lot of new things. You can go to new, like, new worlds,、like yeah. such as、uh, the USA, the UK, Australia, a lot of foreign countries. So that's why I,、uh, uh, I was. Practicing variable very hard, but at the same time, I studied English very hard to,、uh, for my future.、Mm-hmm. So,、um, my major at the university in Japan was English, English literature.、Mm-hmm. So,、um, I studied English very hard when I was a university student.、Mm-hmm. Then I traveled a lot.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> Speaking in English, and meet, I really enjoyed meeting new,、uh, meeting new people and different c u l t u r e It was really like a whole like, new world to、yeah. me. So that's my story. So that's how I met English. That, that's how I、um, really love English.、Mm, I see. And I know that you were also in England, right?、Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so how you were there for a study? For a year.、Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay,、mm-hmm. wow. How was it? I've never been to England. Oh, really? That,、yeah. Actually, that was my first time to go to European countries.、Mm. And、uh, I, was working at a, I was working as an English teacher at school,、mm-hmm. but I took a leave of absence from my work. Then I went to the Uh, university of Reading in the UK、mm-hmm. to get a master's degree in TESOL. TESOL、mm-hmm. is like teaching English to the speakers、oh. of other languages.、Mm-hmm. So my classmates were、um, uh, all, <laughs> not like British students, but、uh, foreign, like, like foreign students、mm-hmm. who want to. Uh, teach English to, as a foreign language.、Oh. So, that, so that was really interesting to me because I, I went to the UK in the uni, at the university, but my classmates were all from other countries.、Mm. Wow, <laughs> so that, that was really interesting to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but that's really fun, right? Because like, you,、yeah. know, you said that you like to meet with 
new mm-hmm. people and you know mm-hmm. people coming from different countries or you know mm-hmm. having a different cultural background or, or something like that so mm-hmm. it's it's not you must have a really great experience over there yes that was really good yes yeah. because we always uh, exchanged our culture mm. and our uh, languages mm-hmm. so that was really a fascinating time to me yeah wow well that totally makes sense of why you are mm-hmm. currently doing what you're doing right now well mm-hmm. the listeners they don't know yet so tell us mm-hmm. about you know what you're doing i mean it, it's it's amazing how you know you have learned the english and then you know you have exchanged so many different cultures and mm-hmm. i I'm just kind of guessing that you know you have to really understand your own culture as well, right? So mm-hmm. tell us what you are doing right mm-hmm. now. Okay, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, what I'm doing now is to teach English to foster a travel guide to foreign tourists. Mm-hmm. So I want to, uh, I want everyone to be like a t- t- uh, travel guide mm-hmm. to guide your local town and create your own travel guide for foreign tourists. Mm-hmm. Uh, to let them experience what you want them to do. So I believe that any person, uh, any people can be a travel guide if you are really uh, interested in meeting new people and speaking English. Mm-hmm. Because uh, while I was in the UK, I noticed that there is a like, big, uh, huge mental gap between Japanese people and foreign people. Mm-hmm. Um, like Japanese people um, have much less opportunities to talk with foreign people. Mm-hmm. But uh, people around the world are really, really interested in Japan and Japanese culture. I was, while I was in the UK, I was asked uh, like a lot of questions mm-hmm. yeah, about Japan and mm-hmm. Japanese culture and Japanese people. Mm-hmm. So... Um, I really like to be uh, like to connect uh, Japanese people with foreign people who want to uh, travel Japan in the future. Mm. So that's my story to start the uh, English online course. I love your story. This is amazing. <laughs> you're definitely using your, you know, what you have learned, what you have experienced while you're in England. And, you know, you, you kind of mentioned earlier that, you know, you love meeting with new people. And mm-hmm. wow, this is such a, an amazing concept. And mm-hmm. I know there is a need, especially, you know, the Olympic is coming and mm-hmm. people will know more about Japan and, mm-hmm. um, you know, whenever I uh, I am in Japan, I watch this mm-hmm. TV show. I don't know if they have it, but uh, you uh, na- mm-hmm. you uh, nani oh, yeah. yeah, and then every time I land into uh, Narita Airport, I always <laughs> see them doing the interview. So yeah, I, I see them all the time. Uh, so I know there are a lot of people who are interested in mm-hmm. visiting Japan. Whenever when my coworkers are planning to go to Japan, they ask me the same question, which is, how is the English level in Japan? Do oh, people really not speak English? Mm-hmm. And I usually tell them, like, well, I mean, the sign, if you stay in, like, Tokyo area, mm-hmm. I think that all the train, they have English announcements, and then I know it's mm-hmm. all written in English. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think people are going to be willing to, you know, help all those um, visitors. So, mm-hmm. and then they did tell me there are some times like they they got confused, like when they have to mm-hmm. buy a, a train ticket. But then mm-hmm. people are trying to help me, blah blah blah. So, mm-hmm. I think so many people are willing to help as as well. What do you think? Yes, I I really so, think so too because uh, I also work as a travel guide. Mm-hmm. So I also guide uh, foreign tourists. Mm-hmm. Uh, to around my neighborhood in Hiroshima. Mm-hmm. So I have guided one guy from Switzerland. Mm-hmm. And then I, I also asked the question about the English level in like, people in Hiroshima. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then they, he said uh, they, were, they didn't speak English very well, but uh, they, he thought um, his willingness to yeah. help 
mm -hmm. uh, foreign people was really, really um, like moving, touched mm -hmm. on yeah. his heart. Yeah. So I think um, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people, a, a lot of Japanese mm -hmm. are really uh, interested in like mm -hmm. talking to foreign people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I, I, as I told you that I work as a travel guide, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um, you, uh, and I also uh, want to foster uh, a lot of travel guides mm -hmm. who, can, mm -hmm. uh, tra who can guide uh, foreign people, foreign tourists. Yeah. to their local towns mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't have to be uh, like professional plan travel plan mm -hmm. at all like mm -hmm. the, the other travel agents do like at this um, moment because um, I think uh, the foreign tourists mm -hmm. really want to um, experience mm -hmm. uh, what other foreign tourists cannot do right yeah, so what yeah. I offer uh, as a travel guide mm -hmm. is that uh, I, I really like Hiroshima style okonomiyaki. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, I think I did see a video actually. You had it on, was it your Twitter? Yes, I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Twitter oh, and a Facebook gosh. page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, and I, that's so good. Yeah. yeah I also taught uh, how to cook okonomiyaki, Hiroshima mm -hmm. style okonomiyaki, mm -hmm. and uh, the, the guy from Switzerland uh, uh, have eaten okonomiyaki mm -hmm. in, in his country and Hiroshima city as well, but mm -hmm. he never cooked uh, mm -hmm. Hiroshima style okonomiyaki by himself, and he so uh, it must be really difficult to cook because mm -hmm. it's a bit complicated. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, when I, when he made it, actually, and he thought that's really interesting. So he have he has made like six okonomiyaki. <laughs> <laughs> then he mastered how to oh. cook okonomiyaki. I think he's a, he was a quick learner. So uh -huh. <laughs> then he was able to bring um, his okonomiyaki yeah. <laughs> as a dinner. <laughs> Wow. At the, at the, so that was really interesting to to me and to the foreign tourists as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. And that's what uh like what we can do, not the travel agent mm -hmm. can offer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think that's uh the that's the um my plan and my vision. Mm -hmm. Like to force that travel guide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, oh my. I'm so in love with your business plan. Oh, thank you so much. I really so love good. your feedback. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason why is it's it's like because you're saying well, there are so many tour and um, travel. Uh, how do you call it? So those uh, tour agencies, right? The travel agencies out there, and they're the professionals. But what you want to offer is a different different mm -hmm. type of uh, service, you know, not so much on the touristy things, but also it's just the, the local, you know, uh, yes, like local, our yeah. everyday life and how, mm -hmm. what we eat, not just a typical, I don't know, Japanese mm -hmm. uh, food, but also it's like local food. And, you know, mm -hmm. I, I love that. And in fact, <laughs> my one of my friends actually did ask me like I don't mm. want to do any touristy things like I just want to go mm. to you know the places where like not very many tourists go to and mm. I said well I mean that's that's so ambitious that's great mm -hmm. however if you go to those places people may not gonna be able to speak English that that was my, <laughs> my like one thing because I, I feel like those um agency that those you know travel mm -hmm. agency tour guys they they mm -hmm. Bring those tourists to the the area where they have a partnership, right? So then, mm -hmm. of course, those places they provide um, mm -hmm. someone who can speak English. So mm -hmm. um, it's like my experience when I went to Korea. I mm -hmm. did not. So every single places we go, we were sent to those duty free mm -hmm. places. I see. And like, okay. I don't 
I'm not interested in buying those brand name, you know, expensive、mm-hmm. items. Like,、mm-hmm. I want to go to places where the local goes to, right?、Mm-hmm. So, I asked the travel guide, like, can, we,、um, can, can I, can we、uh, mm-hmm. please, you know, go separately? I don't want to go to those、mm-hmm. duty free places、okay. again. And then the,、mm-hmm. the guide told me, the tour guide told me, like, I am not allowed to. But、mm-hmm. I trust you.、Really? Yeah, I guess it's like one of the things like you're not allowed to be separated、mm-hmm. from. But、mm-hmm. she said, you know, I'll tell you, you just have to get out from here.、Um, mm-hmm. But the bus leaves at, you know, certain time. Make sure you、mm-hmm. come back. Otherwise, you know, I'm not going to wait for you. And, and we're like, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll keep a promise. We'll be back.、Um, and <laughs> we ended、mm-hmm. up going to,、uh, it was in Korea. And then I think、mm-hmm. it was called.、Um, Oh my gosh, I forget the name. It was one of the very famous、um, shopping. shopping Myeon- Myeondong. Myeondong. No, was it Myeondong? I don't know. Was is it, it、okay? Is there such a thing called.、Oh, mm-hmm. No, I'm, I'm going to forget. Yeah, I don't、okay. remember the name. Anyway, so this is like a big old shopping mall. It's, it's, it's、mm-hmm. one of the very famous o n e And then.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> my husband, <laughs> he、mm-hmm. forgot to pack his underwear. So、okay. we, <laughs> we need to, you know, he wanted to buy underwear from the men's、mm-hmm. floor, you know. And、mm-hmm. then, so we managed to get out from the, the tourist path and,、mm-hmm. you know, we got into the regular floor where、mm-hmm. there's no one, no tourists. It was just local Korean people. And、mm-hmm. then we asked them in English, Can you tell us where the <laughs> men's underwear and then the person has no idea what, they're, what we're saying?、Mm. They cannot speak English at all. So then I'm、mm. like, okay, well, let me try with Japanese. Maybe they know Japanese. And <laughs>、okay. they have no、mm. idea. And I was like,、really? men, <laughs> women, like pointing my husband as men, women, pants, like they don't want to talk、uh-huh. to us. So I was like, oh、uh-huh. my gosh. So. I think there is definitely a need that they want to do something, you know,、mm-hmm. um, where the local people do.、Mm-hmm. So I really love that.、Mm-hmm. So, with that though, you know, doing your own business and, you know,、mm-hmm. doing this travel guide, you know, on your、mm-hmm. own,、mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure there's always some sort of like negative talk. Yes. Coming up to you. So <laughs> yes, tell us like, what, <laughs> what kind、mm-hmm. of negative talk do you,、mm-hmm. do you have with your own self? Mm hmm. Yeah,、uh, I always、uh, think that、uh, are you going to be okay? Like, am I going to be okay? Or, like, you said you will do it, and then the, the foreign tourist、uh, booked the tour, and I, we exchanged some messages.、Mm-hmm. But, are you sure that,、uh, and are you confident that you can satisfy? Uh, for your foreign tourist, your guest.、Mm. If, even though I prepared enough and think of the plan enough.、Mm. So, yeah. But、uh, even though you keep、uh, thinking about the negative、uh, talk, the, the, anyway, it's coming and the、mm-hmm. guests, guests are coming. <laughs> Yeah. Is that so, like you know, English or Japanese? Like, if it's、uh-huh. Japanese, like, what are the Japanese words do you also、uh-huh. hear? Ah. Like, Honto ni daijobu? Mita. Honto ni daijobu? Mita. Uh, ah, yapari ya meru beki da ta ka na. Ah, I see. Yeah. I can totally relate. So, 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 Oh, it's coming, no toki ni. Yeah. <laughs> my heart is like not stable、Ponting. at all. <laughs>、yeah. No, oh my gosh. Oh, but, <laughs> but every time、uh, the foreign guests、uh, come up to me、mm-hmm. and they say hi to me with,、uh, with shaking hands,、mm-hmm. their smile is really、uh, nice.、Mm-hmm. So my like, feeling, like,、mm-hmm. oh, those are your, your feelings, just disappear. <laughs> Oh, that is so good. Yeah. And then, whenever you have that feeling, it, it's actually a good sign that you're doing something, that you're moving towards、uh, something that what you really want to do. So, it's a good sign. So, yeah. That's a good way yeah. of thinking about、uh, thinking like when you try something new.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Do it, do it with scared. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. So mm-hmm. with that, you know, having those negative talk and doing this、um, business by yourself with the travel guide,、mm-hmm. what are the challenges、um, did you face?、Mm-hmm. Okay.、Um, as my,、uh, I have some、um, difficulties、mm-hmm. um, because、uh, in the beginning of Uh, starting my new like this business,、mm-hmm. I I had I had I didn't really know what to do like at all because it's just、uh, totally something new.、Mm-hmm. So that's why、uh, I was of course I was listening to your podcast and then I was listening to、uh, Aiko San's podcast and some podcasts from、uh, other people do.、Mm-hmm. Uh, to collect information,、mm-hmm. then I knew、uh, your online business course to、mm-hmm. start a new business.、Mm-hmm. So that helped me a lot.、Mm. The, the name of the business course is Can I tell this? Oh, yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> 2ヶ月間で、しかも0円でビジネスを始められるコース。Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, that's on Facebook page. Yeah. Yeah, the course I,、uh, I happened to see, the g o o z e n m i t s u k e t e Oh, it's what I really want. That's what I really want now. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 Yeah, and I, I think, missed- yeah, I remember you're like one of the last p e r s o n who applied. Like, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Exactly. And I was struggling how to pay.、So. Right, right. Yeah, I know. It's the reason why we don't do this for free. Well, doing、mm-hmm. your business, it's, it's I mean, you can do this like free. Like, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You can、mm-hmm. start with what you have, right? That's what,、mm-hmm. obviously what you learn. And then,、mm-hmm. when you have your income, and that's what, when you can scale up and you know, buy、mm-hmm. a nicer something or better service or whatever. But you don't have to have、mm-hmm. all those perfect everything to start.、Mm-hmm. You know, that's not how the business should be. You should start with,、mm-hmm. with small and、mm-hmm. getting bigger. But the reason why we need to charge the student、mm-hmm. is that if it's free, no one's going to do it,、mm-hmm. right? Because it's once you pay, and then、mm-hmm. it's You're not paying for me, you're paying for、mm-hmm. yourself. You、mm-hmm. are giving your time becomes more valuable, so that way you're really、mm-hmm. sure that this is it. Like, I'm doing it, I don't want to even you know, waste my, my money that I paid, right?、Mm-hmm. So, that's so important, and I'm so glad you decided to do it. And you know, you're one of the students, <laughs> like, you have no、yes. idea what you want to start, and then now you exactly. Have, exactly. Yeah, you have the course already ready.、Uh-huh. And how much did you really spend for just besides the tuition? How much did you really、uh-huh. spend for your business? Uh huh. Oh, no, no, not at all. Right, like, right. Like zero, eh? <laughs> I know. That's why、uh-huh. our title of the business course, we're not trying to sell more. Like, it's zero、uh-huh. in there. So,、uh-huh. oh my gosh, so exciting. But I'm so glad. So, you had、um, the, your challenge was like really like you didn't know where to go, but、uh-huh. you found someone who can, you know, help, and then you decide to take the chance to. We didn't get that advice and, and do what they told, what we told you、mm-hmm. to do, right?、Mm-hmm. Awesome. And at the same time,、uh, I was able to make、uh, the like, kind of like friends、uh, mm-hmm. who want to、right. uh, start a new business by themselves.、Mm-hmm. So we shared our ideas eat a lot with each other, and then we didn't, sometimes we didn't know what to do next. Mm-hmm. Even though Eviko san and Aiko san gave us the action items,、mm-hmm. so we struggled a lot, but we helped each other and then we gave us some advice to each other. The environment was really, really helpful, and at the same time, it was really comfortable. Oh, wow.、Yeah. By the way, listeners,、mm-hmm. I didn't tell Ayaka san to <laughs> talk about this at all. I'm not paying for her to promote our business course. 
because you're so kind. Thank you. No, I'm telling the truth. Oh, thank you. I didn't expect to hear all those feedback from you. So thank you. And that's exactly what we wanted to do. Like, you know, sometimes doing a business is very, it can be very lonely. So we mm, need that environment true. to help each other. Yeah. And, you know, going mm-hmm. through this journey, we always, there's mm-hmm. always going to be a negative talk. You know, we mm-hmm. ask yourself your own question. Are you sure you can do this? But mm-hmm. there is some other group of people who are, you know, giving you positive feedback and, mm-hmm. and helping each other to go through the challenges. So mm-hmm. uh, what are the lessons did you have from this experience that you want to share with, your, with our listeners? Mm-hmm. Uh, could you tell me that again, please? Yeah, so what mm-hmm. so from this experience of having mm-hmm. those difficulties, the challenges, what mm-hmm. are the lessons did you learn and mm-hmm. what kind of like um, advice or, um, mm-hmm. and, yeah, advice do you want to share with the listeners? Mm-hmm. Okay, I see. I think uh, having uh, the friends mm-hmm. who have the like, similar mindset yeah. is really helpful. Mm-hmm. To, because sometimes, of course, you uh, you can motivate yourself by themselves, but of course there is a time um, when you are really, really negative and you don't know what to do next and then you are not sure if you can do it well. Mm-hmm. So, and uh, I think having friends is really good because um, the friends tell you, um, something like anything that you didn't really notice mm. so that was really helpful to me yeah. and um, if you work like only by yourself uh, you cannot um, you sometimes um, like lose your goals or mm. visions mm-hmm. so you just keep working hard working hard like all all day mm-hmm. So I was like sometimes um, like struggling with uh, the good balance between like my work life and my mm-hmm. private life. Mm-hmm. I kept working hard for for my English students mm-hmm. and for other like others. Mm-hmm. So I didn't really have time to um, to for myself. Yeah, and of course like uh, like. You also teach. You are also like coach, and I'm also like teach teacher of English. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So like, um, our goal is really, really like achieving our goals a really like long process. Mm-hmm. So that's why um, I was like uh, got lost <laughs> in mm-hmm. the middle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, what I learned from this like long long process is that like if you cannot make yourself happy you cannot make others happy either mm-hmm. so in the at first you have to care about yourself well mm-hmm. and then your uh, mind will also change mm-hmm. in a better way so mm-hmm. you, that's why you can treat others very well Mm, so that's that's you, so important. you have to um, cherish or treat yourself well either you don't have to be like uh, you don't have to be like oh 自分のために時間使うのなんてあ、申し訳ないとかっていうのは、mm-hmm. yeah. I, I, I kept thinking that way like 申し訳ない but mm-hmm. I thought that's not a good idea yeah. yeah, no, I mm. completely agree. And mm-hmm. it's the same thing for, like, I'm a mom of two. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I feel bad. Like, I feel like, oh, I should be spending uh-huh. this money for my kids, not me. I feel mm-hmm. selfish, right? Uh-huh. But self-care, yeah. self-care is not uh, selfish. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. not selfish at all. Actually, if you don't, you know, like you said, if you don't uh-huh. take care of yourself, then Mm -hmm. you can't even take care of others, right? So Mm -hmm. what you just said is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. So um, 
-hmm. As you know, um, I mm -hmm. talk a lot about gifted talent in this podcast, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we are all born with a gifted talent that no one can mm -hmm. copy, and we're here to let our talent shine. That's what I believe in, mm -hmm. that it should be. So mm -hmm. tell us, what is your mm -hmm. gifted talent, and how mm -hmm. are you using it? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, my gifted talent is, of course, like English and traveling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. I have never uh, thought about my gifted talent since I started uh, your business course, your mm -hmm. online business course, mm -hmm. but because uh, I didn't know my personality very well, but mm -hmm. thanks to your uh, like PDF worksheet uh, to find uh, your my gifted talent, mm -hmm. I was able to like narrow my uh, gifted talent down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So both of uh, English and traveling have influenced my life a lot. Mm -hmm. So that's what I noticed. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I was able to meet uh, a lot of people and make friends while traveling and learning English. Mm -hmm. So um, my gifted talent is the passion to mm -hmm. offer people who want to learn and speak English, but uh, don't know how the opportunities to do their best so my business goal uh, is to offer Japanese Japanese people opportunities to learn English and communicate in English with foreign tourists or foreign people and then at the same time offer foreign people and foreign tourists opportunities to communicate with Japanese people to learn more like Japanese culture mm -hmm. or something that they are really interested in in Japan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, and then the other thing, um, it's so funny. This is my, the, this is our very first time having a conversation, right? Uh, mm -hmm. with, with me and you. And then one of the things that I noticed that you mentioned, you know, you like to meet with new people a lot. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think that's also your gifted talent because not mm -hmm. everybody is open to mm -hmm. meet with new people. But because mm -hmm. you have that gift of, mm -hmm being able to meet with people who are from different countries or who are having a different perspective. So that mm -hmm. will put you as in you're having an open mind, mind, uh, mm -hmm. open minded. Mm -hmm. So I think those two are also helping to mm -hmm. have this business as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So what's next? So what are you excited about for your business, mm -hmm. for your work and you know, how, mm -hmm. How do you want to, you know, live with your purpose going forward? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I have just started my online English course, which is called Omotenashi Eigo. Mm -hmm. I love it. So Omotenashi <laughs> means like hospitality. So I think Japan has like um, uh, hospitality, hospitality, which is totally different from uh, other countries. Right. So... Uh, I have just started uh, this online course to teach uh, English, but not only like English, but uh, the English to to, uh, to guide uh, foreign tourists to your local town and uh, some experiences that you can that only you can offer like cooking mm -hmm. and guiding your local towns, mm -hmm. and at the same time uh, I. Uh, I'll tell the English learners to mm -hmm. uh, how to become uh, a travel guide on the website. There are uh, a lot of uh, websites mm -hmm. to become a travel guide, but uh, there are only like um, some useful, a few mm -hmm. useful um, um, websites. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tell useful uh, websites to become a travel guide. Mm -hmm. Then, um, my f uh, future goal as a business is to, I also um, want to find my like business partners who have like similar visions mm -hmm. and who have English and travel, mm -hmm. so collaborate uh, with them. Mm -hmm. Then I hope that uh, like, it's really, I, I think it would be really good for like Japanese people 
to travel, uh, to guide foreign tourists, mm -hmm. um, like in the future. Because yeah. these days, uh, like spring and summer, winter vacation, I can see there are so many uh, foreign tourists in Hiroshima, but mm -hmm. they are just traveling them by themselves. Mm -hmm. But I really want to see, like in the future, I really want to see like Japanese people, like Japanese local people, uh, guide foreign tourists. Mm -hmm. Then they communicate each other and laugh each other. Mm -hmm. Really, really fascinating. Yeah. For foreign tourists and Japanese people, both of them. Mm. Yeah, that's my vision. Yeah, I can totally <laughs> picture it right now. It's so <laughs> cool. And I think um, I, I really like your vision. And then, um, you know, again, the service that you're offering, because mm -hmm. I, I think, um, uh, I don't know how to say this in English. It's like, hardware is so much higher. Kanji. Does that make sense to you? Like, um, I, you know, you, you're, you're very, the way how you teach, the way how you explain, I feel like everybody can be one, you know, if you have that passion to, to, you know, to meet new people and wanting to learn and wanting to improve English and wanting to, to guide your local area. That's, you know, that's amazing because when I was uh, in junior college, I took a kan. Uh, what is the like a kanko mm -hmm. kanko shiken? It, it was a kokyo ah, shiken. Do you know what uh, that is? Tsu tsu yaku anai shi. It was. I don't remember who was a tsu yaku, but it was like uh, a travel. Uh, 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 Nihon no kanko kente mi tai na kanji na yatsu. Uh, like uh, testo de wa aomori ga doko de toka. So you. Uh, uh, yeah, so I, <laughs> I took that test. Obviously, I miserably failed. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, because before I thought that, yeah, I like English and I like to meet people, like you said. And, mm. you know, if there are somebody who, who needs a tour guide, maybe I want to be one, right? So then mm -hmm. I, I took that test because I thought that I have to have that certification or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I totally failed and, like, I'm never going to be one. And I completely gave up that. So, mm -hmm. you know, you're telling us, you know, you don't, you don't have to have those fancy license or anything mm -hmm. that, that's what the other travel agencies are doing and what you're mm -hmm. offering is completely different and like yeah mm -hmm. I feel like I can do it right mm -hmm. so yeah totemo hardware ga takaku nai yeah and I want because I want to tell uh, a lot of people that like you are good enough like you always yes. tell from the podcast so mm -hmm. you have a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience at your local town Mm -hmm. So you can just tell uh, yeah. your experiences, your knowledge to yeah. foreign tourists that's in English. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 100% agreed. Amazing. <laughs> wow. So is there anything else that you want to talk about your uh, business mm -hmm. uh, course that you're offering and anything mm -hmm. else? Mm -hmm. Mike, okay. Mike is yours. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. As I mentioned uh, I'm I just started my new English business course which is called omotenashi English uh, omotenashi Eigo sorry and then through this online English course I teach uh, how to become a travel guide and the how to um, uh, and the useful English phrases to guide your town and then I also tell and teach how to organize your own tours and express them in English and uh, um, at, in the end uh, you will make the presentation about your local town mm -hmm. so that's my uh, that the content of the English online course mm -hmm. then um, the difference between other like only online English courses and mine is that I really want to support uh, you support English learners, so that's why I um, every after every lesson I give like action item mm -hmm. so that you can um, express introduce your local towns such as foods, recommended souvenirs, um, the the buildings that foreign tourists should go. Mm -hmm. So it's not like just like a one way. Uh, in one way learning but we I really want to know um, 
uh, English learners English mm-hmm. and their ideas and I really want to know their problems that they are facing mm-hmm. so it's it's two way and commun- like uh, not just studying by themselves but like communication mm. so I that, uh-huh. so I really want to meet like anyone who are passionate about their local towns and then learning um, English omotenashi ego and uh, meeting new people like mm. through English and traveling. So I have also Twitter, Instagram. I also do like offer a newsletter and a Facebook page. Mm-hmm. So please message me anytime. <laughs> yeah. So you have your newsletter. Um, mm-hmm. I will make sure to to link. Mm-hmm. your uh, newsletter sign up link mm-hmm. uh, on mm-hmm. to my website the show notes mm-hmm. so uh, those listeners who are interested in learning more about omotenashi ego uh, mm-hmm. go ahead and visit my website www.herconfidenceherway.com and you'll see ayaka-san's episode and all those informations are there um, mm-hmm. i have a question for you for this course mm-hmm. it, it can be anyone from any areas in Japan? It, it can be uh, someone uh, yes. from Ho- Hokkaido, can be someone from <laughs> Yokohama <laughs> like me. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, the other question that I have for you is that, like, mm-hmm. let's say I'm working full time. Can I do this as a side job or like a part time? Uh, yes. Yes. Of course, you can do it uh, as a side work um, because you can just offer the your guys at uh, on weekends. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you make your own like work life. Mhm. Yes. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Well, is there anything else? Mhm. Okay. Uh yes, just uh, please message me. I and I really want to uh help you uh like guide your local towns in the future. Wonderful. So mm-hmm. everything on your so, uh, social media, the um, mm-hmm. SNS, I recently, mm-hmm. learned, recently <laughs> learned the term, um, mm-hmm. is omotenashi ego, right? Mm-hmm. The handle, everything, or you have a different handle. I think your Instagram is a little bit different mm-hmm. handle, right? Ah, uh, yes. Mm-hmm. But my Instagram handle is like Ani Ayaka. Uh-huh. <laughs> because and, uh, when I was in the USA, Mm, uh, Ayaka, the I name, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was just like twenty years old, uh-huh. so that's why I look like uh, like Annie uh-huh. in the musical shows. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> Annie Ayaka. Okay, perfect. Well, mm-hmm. thank you so much for coming to our show today. It was mm-hmm. so nice that I get to know you. Mm-hmm. more <laughs> and I also get to know more about your business and your passion mm-hmm. but thank you so much for having me today you are really good like host you are so energetic <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah it's I'm being me <laughs> yeah we're like you know you say we're all good enough right so uh-huh. if you want to start something like it's the same mm-hmm. thing like I wanted to start a podcast and mm-hmm. I'm like who are you to be a host, mm-hmm. you know, host of a podcast? There's no way mm-hmm. that I can do it. Like all the negative mm-hmm. talks, but I did it anyway. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sharing that message with mm-hmm. all of you guys. So thank you so much. And I, uh, hopefully one day I, mm-hmm. when I go to, go to Japan, I would love to visit you because I've never oh. been to Hiroshima. <laughs> you, you no. <laughs> yeah and you're gonna have to show me how to make hiroshima food no yes. okonomiyaki oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes wonderful well thank you very much and have a wonderful day okay thank you very much you too bye bye there you have it i hope you had enjoyed my conversation with ayaka Just an FYI for those who are listening to this podcast and who are interested in about taking Ayaka's course. And Ayaka is currently offering a special price if you sign up uh, within by the end of August, you get the special price. However, if you mention to Ayaka that you have listened to this podcast, then Ayaka will also give you the special price, although you are um, enrolling after August. 
So don't worry, you can go ahead and message Ayaka. Then you can just still be her student. Okay, so that is all for today. Thank you so much for listening, and I will chat with you next time. Bye bye.